are watching the effects of poor land management. This right here is a major contributor to a lot of problems in our society, and particularly in California as a bioregional drought situation. It's not necessary. This doesn't have to happen, and this isn't a natural uh, occurrence. This is the product of uh, a lack of respect for the resource of water. Okay, we are not in a drought. We're just creating that. And that is what creates drought. And that is what creates the pollution in our waterways. Glyphosate, also known as Roundup, urea fertilizers, all kinds of different pesticides, herbicides, general biocides off of these orchards and sending it into the rivers and streams and out into the ocean where we source seafood. But this needs to stop. And the solution is not that challenging, okay? This could turn into agricultural production. This could turn into rivers that flow all year instead of while the rain is falling. This could turn into the climate moderation effects of hydrated landscapes. This could turn into high quality spring water and well water for everyone in the bioregion. It doesn't have to be this way. It's absolute nonsense. This right here could fill a small reservoir overnight, no problem. Enough water to irrigate this orchard all year. But instead, because of this management choice, we lose water, and if, if the grower doesn't have a well, then they're paying a high price for municipal water. And in this bioregion, what our municipal water is, is this kind of water caught in a large dam and purified, okay? So we can do the same thing on a decentralized scale. This is why California is in a drought. So the solution to this pretty immense problem is just a subtle change in design and management of the water resource. Instead of paving, piping, and polluting it, sending it away as quick as possible. We have to change the standard narrative of water management in our culture. And what we need to do is slow, spread, and sink the water into the landscape by doing contour diversions that would actually allow this water to flash out through the orchard and infiltrate. Okay, we want it to spread throughout the orchard, not concentrate and leave the orchard. And we can do this. This is an easy kind of intervention to make in the landscape. And once you do it, and if you do it right, it's permanent.